Hello, welcome back to another makeup video. This one also might not see the light of day because I just uploaded the first one two hours ago and I don't really know if y'all care for them yet or not. The views are pretty stable as far as like what I normally get. So we'll see, we'll see. So I'm just testing the waters and filming this one today because I'm wearing makeup again today so today's makeup look is brought to you by i am going out and seeing people in public however i am going to avery's school she has a turkey trot today so we're going to be outside for like an hour it is cold and i am going to be around people but i'm going to be at like a school function so i don't want to do full eyelashes full glam this is kind of more of like an everyday I'm changing my foundation routine to like my everyday foundation when I see people and my makeup's gonna be like softer more natural I just don't want like crazy makeup today but I still want to look better than this so let's get started um same primer I probably should repurchase or like purchase another one of these primers soon when I was doing the links on my last video I found everything on Amazon and I think everything on Amazon was way cheaper so I think that primer was like six dollars so I should probably get another one but it is the Maybelline Master Prime I'm almost positive do not quote me but I'm almost positive that Smashbox is Maybelline's parent company but I could be wrong so again don't quote me but the packaging is the same the feel is the same in my opinion it works the same um i am still gonna do the smashbox under eye hydrating primer because we're walking i don't know if i said that and it's cold outside and then we're gonna be outside for a little bit and my t-zone and my under eyes tend to lose product the fastest so we're just gonna use this once again you don't really need this but like i have it so i'm using it also still gonna use the maybelline green corrector stick because your girl still is breaking out i've been a stress case this past week so i'm still breaking out and uh welcome to my life adult acne it's real okay cool so foundation's changing. This is a full coverage foundation. This is my favorite full coverage foundation. Um, I've had this one for a really long time and this one bottle has lasted me a very long time. If I wore this every single day, I can confidently say that this tube of foundation would probably last me five to six months. So take with that what you will. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay full coverage foundation. I'm in the shade Fair Beige. So I use this with a like a foundation brush because I learned some things. So when you put on foundation and I just do a little bit like this and I do small spaces at a time or like one space at a time because um, it tends to dry kind of quickly. So I learned that if you want a more full coverage foundation look, you use a brush. You don't use a, a sponge because a sponge soaks up product. You don't use your fingers because your fingers like the product melts into your fingers and like it doesn't spread that well you use a brush so that's what i use with this full coverage foundation i like it because it's full coverage but like i still feel like it doesn't look like cakey maybe maybe it does i don't know i feel like it doesn't look cakey i feel like it looks more natural on the skin and this is like the best match for me in a foundation that I've ever found. I'm quite pale. And I feel like they have a pretty decent shade range for us pale ladies. I haven't really like looked into the darker shades. But because I haven't really had a need to. But I'll look into that. But I think for me this works out pretty well. I also really like. And I haven't used this foundation in a really long time. The Makeup Forever like matte foundation. That stuff is bomb. So I'm just going to put this all over. It is going to be streaky. There is going to be lines. We'll fix them later. But 
I have to put them on with this brush. And I'm just gonna layer it. Like seriously, I use the tiniest bit. I've had this tube forever. Like I don't think I've ever pur repurchased this. I've had this for so long. I love this foundation, it's so nice. And this is the one I wear when I'm around um, people. <laughs> Not just, you know, filming videos. Which, I do have to film another new releases um, at some point, maybe this week. I might be able to actually, this. maybe I'll film that on Thanksgiving, which might be weird. I don't know, I'll probably, if, you know, if you guys like these, if that one goes well, this one does fine. I'll probably film the like Thanksgiving day get ready with me um and we'll figure that out from there okay foundation's on it's streaky I do have a wet beauty blender I just pat it on top I know I was just saying not to do this but I do want products soaked up because it gives me a more natural finish so like see my forehead needs like moisturizer bad it's cakey uh, <laughs> I hate how like dry my forehead is it drives me insane okay so that's fine that's on concealer is gonna stay the same as last time because I haven't purchased any new makeup since then so why you sell Touche Clot uh, concealer I use this for under my eyes this actually is running out so I probably will start researching better concealers or I'll just purchase the MAC one I was talking about but um I don't know we'll see and then I'm gonna also just use this Maybelline fit me concealer to liquid highlight because I don't know I have it and I can and then again I will use a beauty blender for this as well I found that the fit me concealer is like kind of tougher to blend out maybe it's just me Alright, and then I'll blend the rest of this. It's like, I'm working on it, you know, but not really much I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and spray. I need more of this for sure. This is the NYX Dewy Finish. This packaging is different um, than the one that they have now. So, I don't know, but this is cheap and I love this. Okay. Kind of everything else is generally the same. So I'm going to do my eyebrows using the two Anastasia products. I have the Brow Wiz in soft brown and the clear brow gel we're just gonna do this again i probably should have grabbed my mirror but we'll just maybe we'll do it with this and i just fill in sparse areas with this because i already have like intense eyebrows what is that okay so i was trying to see what that was it doesn't help that i'm blind so <laughs> this is not working that great sure I kind of like the brow wiz because it's almost like you can't really make a mistake you know maybe I mean you could if you like drew like a line you know but it's kind of difficult and then I'll take the clear brow gel I just got a hair in the I turned on both of my lights today I don't know how well that's working but I did it, <laughs> so I don't know. All right, and then I am gonna use my Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. This is the anti-aging one. Again, I still have no idea what the difference is, um, but it's what I have, so it's what I'm using. And then I'm just gonna put this all over. I feel like this look is gonna be a lot quicker. Not that I have to leave, or we're leaving in like 30 minutes, but um, I'm probably still gonna leave my hair like this. Probably put a hat on because my ears are cold. I don't know. I'm probably gonna put another jacket on. I'm just wearing a Nike hoodie because, like, it's warm outside and it's cold. And I'm wearing sweatpants because, like, well, they're not sweatpants. They're joggers that I got off Amazon. Low-key, probably my favorite pants I've ever purchased. I haven't stopped wearing them. I took them off once to wash them. Still wearing them. They're great. If you want to know, I'll link them down below as well. I think that's everything. Let's do powder. I have the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in Fair. I don't know. 
I've said this before, I don't really think, in my opinion, powder doesn't really like matter. Why is there like a hair attached to this? I still really need to clean my brushes, but I have I still haven't found the time. <laughs> I've been quite busy. Okay, so there's that. Now I have to pull out my three palettes. The Naked Basics palette, I cannot find that anywhere. So I don't think they sell that anymore. So maybe I won't use that today and I'll use something that I can actually link you guys. This is the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I'm taking the beige highlight to start under the eyes. And then I do take the yellow as well. And then I'm going to take the light contour and do a light contour. One thing I really like about that foundation is that it like really settles nicely into the skin. So like, say for example, right now it doesn't look great. I think it looks okay. But like if it didn't look great, after like an hour it settles really nicely. So is that weird? Maybe, but whatever. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I mix together dim light and incandescent light. I think I've decided if I were to ever purchase one, it would be dim light. great question though but they're so pretty the other one is um radiant it's a little bronzy i tend to use that one more in the summertime okay so i'm not going to use the naked basics today where's my like other naked palette here's the naked basics too we'll use this one i don't really use this one too much let's grab stark which is this color and that's the one i'm just going to put all over then and I can actually link you guys this palette. So this palette actually would be good to use for today. But I'm not going to. I'm going to use... Hmm, great question, actually. I don't even know what I want to use. I haven't used this palette in a while. Ooh, this is really pretty. The Lorac Pro Matte Palette. Ooh, I haven't used this in a really long time. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Okay, so let's take, I'm going to start with Latte, I think, yeah, and we'll run this through the crease. This will be my transition blending kind of shade, because it's light enough. I feel like I'm missing something. My stomach just growled. <laughs> okay, and then let's do our lid shade i'm like i think i'm gonna use i was going between pink mauve and bear but i think bear is probably my best option um so i'll grab that it's just it's all mattes and these are really pretty and like soft and like it's you know kind of like a natural makeup look without wearing makeup even though we're putting on pounds of it you know i'm actually gonna put on a little bit more like it's straight up the color of my skin but like i don't know i like it and then we're going to take not a super small brush, but like a decently sized small one. I think I'm going to start with Corduroy. Corduroy. That's such a cute book. Have y'all read Corduroy, Corduroy recently? Corduroy. Uh, outer. Oh, that is really dark. Oh. Scary. Um, outer V blend up. Same as last time. I'm literally just flicking that color up. And then I'll blend it a tiny bit into the center. That is so much. I need to blend that. Scary. Where's my freaking blending brush? No. This will work. Oh my gosh. That had so much pigment in that. I don't think I've used, I've used this palette before. But I haven't used Lorac colors in a very long time other than the face palette. This is like intense. I have a lot of eyeshadow I've like never used. So this vi these videos could give me a good opportunity to do so. So please, if y'all really like these, let me know and I'll just keep doing them because it makes me happy and like, worst case, I just keep doing them and no one watches, which is fine. <laughs> I think the blending did okay. I'm not even going to touch it again, and I'm just going to do the other side. Oh, shoot. I probably should. Okay, I, like, barely touched it. I was like... Ugh. And I'll do this side. I almost feel like I do need a little bit more just so it's even. 
anybody else like not good with like one eye like i'm fine with this eye but i just like cannot do my other eye it's like i've lost all control of my hand so i am bringing the color in to about halfway what is that i don't know Another thing I really like is that I wear glasses, so like worst case if this looks terrible, it's kind of mostly covered. So that's good. Okay, let's blend this eye as well. I was going to go in with like an even darker shade, like even the jet black and maybe do like a false line. I actually might do that because I was going to do eyeliner, but sometimes eyeliner can be a little harsh, you know? So maybe let's try that. I just be really liking them false lines recently. Okay, so first and foremost though, I am going to take um, my teeny tiny like small brush here. I'm going to grab like the tiniest bit of that quarter eye. I'm like real scared of it. And I'm going to drag it like that. Just the tiniest bit. And then I'm going to take the latte, which was the first brown shade. This one I'm comfortable with loading up and doing that the rest of the way because that's such a soft like this that would have even been a really nice all over the lid shade because it's so soft okay cool so now we're going to try that false line should i keep using this brush no i have this one Ooh, this one was resting on my camera sorry about that do I use brown? I kind of want to use, do I use the chocolate? No. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to use the chocolate shade. Okay, and I'm using this like liner brush here. Oh boy, oh boy. And we're, oh boy, I'm going to create a false line, like a shadow line. Do I hate this? Boy, I don't know. Do you hate it? I'm gonna fluff it, I think. See, I told y'all I'm not great with eyeliner. But the good thing is I can blend that, so like, that's fine. Thank God I didn't do black. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, let's do the side that I'm not great at. Just got a hair in my eye. And apparently I'm hungry. Wait, why is this side turning out better? What the heck? I'm also going to the grocery store if I didn't say that. So this is a great grocery store look too if you guys are really like looking for a good grocery store uh, makeup, you know? I like this one better. I'm gonna... S I don't know what I'm gonna do actually, hold on. This eye heard me talking shit and was like, mm -mm, we're gonna do good stuff today. So I think this is okay. And then I am gonna take um, the I think I'm gonna use, I kinda need some shine. Now let's use linen as a highlight. And really blend this one out because it's like stark white and we really don't want that to look like, you know, like that basically. Now I gotta figure out what kind of makeup I'm gonna do for Thanksgiving. Cause I don't know. Okay, before I put this palette away, I'm going to use the NYX Milk pencil with a brush I need to sharpen this thing so bad inner corner this like yeah this really needs to be sharpened but it's all good and I'll grab that linen shade again which was the white layer that on top all right and we are not doing any eyeliner up top but I am going to use excuse me liner on my waterline I'm going to go with a soft brown so I have Urban, De Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Roach. I need a 
one of these mirrors. Actually, no, I don't. I'm just going to put it on with this mirror. Hold on. Soft, soft brown, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see the difference. But I like it because, I don't know, I just have been really liking doing water eyeliner on my waterline again. I went a really long period without doing it, so I like it again. All right, we're almost done, so I am going to curl my lashes and do both mascaras, but that's it. No fake eyelashes today. I don't really need them. I just feel like it would look so silly. I mean, it wouldn't look silly at a school event, but this is like we're going to be standing outside in the cold and we're just watching kids like run. I don't really need like... Like, if maybe it was something a little bit different, maybe I would, but not today. So this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is my all-time personal fave. I think it gives such a really nice, like, natural mascara look as I stab myself in the eye. See? See? It's natural, but then I like to layer it with the Givenchy, well currently the Givenchy Phenomena Eyes. I have a lot of like sample mascaras, so I just kind of go through whatever I have next. And these are the two that I pulled at the same time. Love this one. Again, if you guys know, a little ball mascara. I haven't read my comments yet today, but if y'all know, let me know. Because I'd like to know. Alrighty, I have to get Regan ready. I mean, she's like super easy. She's already dressed for the day. I just need to get socks and shoes and brush her hair. And then I'm going to do my bottom lashes. A little crunchy on that one, but that's okay. Okay. So there's eyes. What do we think? It's not terrible could it be better maybe but it's like it almost is like makeup without wearing makeup it looks very like natural i really like it actually i'm not mad blush i'm gonna change up my blush today i think i'm gonna use oh what is this sometimes i forget what i own what is this oh this is a combo oh pretty ew it like feels absolutely disgusting though i did not like that i also have the hourglass blush palette which is like really pretty maybe i use this one this one is the mood exposure one it's really pretty it's like a dark purpley like neutral but it's like it's mixed with their um ambient lightings so there's like luminous incandescent and this is mood so it's like mixed with those, so like it's not going to be purple. It's a little bit more like natural, which I kind of enjoy. Haven't worn that in a while. That's really pretty. Maybe I'll change up my highlight too. What is that? Hold on. Sometimes I don't remember what I have. Oh, I have a Laura Mercier bronzer. Nice. Okay, so let's change up highlighter as well. Of these, I also own an absolute butt ton. Let's use this one. This is the Mary Luminizer from... Is this the balm? I think it is. It's really pretty. We'll use this today. I have, I almost hit pan on this. No, I haven't. That's a lie. <laughs> this is really pretty though. My stomach will not stop growling. Um, lips. Probably just gonna wear chapstick. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let me just double check and see if there's anything. But I. I I have some lipsticks, but like I, I would rather wear chapstick. Oh wait, I have this. This is Ceramide and Oil Balm. It's for dry skin. Can I use it on lips? Let's test. Probably not. Probably not. We tried. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be a chapstick day. So let's go ahead and spray one more time. Okay, my brows will not stay. I think this is gonna be the finished look. I'm not mad at it. I think it's very natural. Um, hopefully you guys liked this. Let me know if you're still enjoying these. 
I don't mind doing them. Like I said, I've been changing it up every so often. The things that stay the same are typically foundation and stuff, but we can just chat through those. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this look. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.